Hi there, Scott with Human Custom Builds. In this video, I'm going to do a one year review of the Universal Engraver 15 watt laser engraver. Stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. So, three, four, five times a week, I get questions about how do you like the engraver now that you've used it for a while? What is your setup? What is your box? So, we're just going to do a quick overview of where we are today from where it started in some of my original posting videos. So to start with, Mr. Burns 2.0 uh, is in a box I made. It has a clamshell style opening, um, as well as a green uh, transparent plexiglass so I can uh, watch without having to have glasses on. Um, I like this style cover because I can still slide longer items in. Um, and hang them out from underneath and engrave on those. So I'm not restricted to the bed size. I can, can use some more space. We have a power strip, which powers the light on the top, the fan at the back, and the unit itself. So in the back, we uh, just use disposable charcoal filters, flip them over, it's, if it's impressed what it catches, and just a small PC fan. There'll be a link in the description for that. These guys fit over and I can replace them very easily. Everything's tied down. Units screwed down into the box. Um, did a grid pattern and that's easy enough in T2 laser software as well. That helps align everything um, to make sure you get a nice square engraving. All right, so my thoughts on it. Um, for the money, it's a very good unit once you get over the assembly. That is not the most straightforward process and um, my video will help you. It's definitely old, it's definitely not the best quality. Um, once you get past there with some minor PC knowledge, um, using T2 laser, importing an image that you create or find on the web somewhere, uh, maybe you create it in Word, I like Silhouette Studio. It is pretty easy to put that into T2 laser, size it, set your speed settings, how your resolution, so how detailed you want. Um, that's great as that image size or laser engraving gets larger. You definitely wanna, you can scale that down and get away with speeding up that uh, engraving process. Um, so for that, it works really well. Um, it's not a fancy unit. It's not gonna cut metal. It's not gonna cut through even thin plywood, at least with not a lot of extra passes. Um, but the three watt for under 300 bucks, um, the 15 watt for I think seven to $800, you can customize a lot of products, um, uh, pay for itself pretty quickly. Um, really good if you can get, um, uh, some business with a realtor or two customizing closing gifts. So that's just kind of a reoccurring revenue stream. So that's my thoughts on it. I hope that gives you some insight into what I've been using it for. Um, how mine is set up and uh, yeah I like it so if you're interested in that hit me up with questions but uh, definitely go check out that product and remember don't just build create see you guys if you like what you see don't forget to subscribe Hit the like button, comment, and share. There are also links below to any products or tools used during this video.